Hello, welcome back to the Cultist Simulator, the Mariner mod. Let's dive right in, shall we? Okay, so one thing that I uh, recalled, remembered um, from, well, in the brief pause that I had, Again, this cough is troubling me. Um, there is something we could have spoken to uh, Miss Moreland and Mr. Agdistis about uh, our temptations. It's not too bad that we didn't get the chance. Um, I remember, I think the first time I did it, I did. I managed to get something out of it, but it was effectively uh, a puzzle that I had to unlock, and I didn't have all the pieces. I never figured out that puzzle, so eh, we'll get back to it the next time we're in London. Um, something I do like about uh, this mod of the Exile DLC is that we can just go back to London whenever um, there's no was the word um, irreversible like death counter that is pushing us towards an end um, which honestly I wasn't a big fan of the exile DLC uh, because of that sort of doom <laughs> in, a, in a way uh, one uh, uh, tax if you will is the longing for home as you see uh, this was one, now it's two, uh, these were two, now they're three, etc. Um, they do accrue, and eventually uh, the crewmen will decide to shove off elsewhere. Um, of course, we can just hire someone else. Um, so yeah, uh, let's, speaking of, let's go find a bar, as no bar has been discovered in Amsterdam just yet. Uh, and we can also, I suppose, we have a letter to deliver, but we don't have the person to deliver the letter to yet. Um, experience of dread is not too much to worry about. Uh, we can deal with it. I kind of just let it exist. Because um, it doesn't really do much by itself. When they accumulate in mass is when they are a problem. I am. Back to Hamill sneezing. Uh, <laughs> I should just start cutting these out, or at least uh, making a mental note to cut them out. Uh, let's go into fast forward mode. And hopefully we get. Oh, a storm. Uh, storm. Got some edge there. Eh. Uh. Okay, uh, exploring Amsterdam, uh, we have found under high gables, uh, through small alleys, I pass across many bridges, past wide canals, I go if I have a charm, I may find extraordinary people, places, or opportunities. Uh, Vermates, Diamantiers, <laughs> I don't know how to say any of this, these names. Uh, a gem cutting house with its roots all the way back in the 16th century. While they mostly purchase gems in their raw state, they are known to appreciate a rare find of jewellery as well. Uh, we can explore it. Uh, it's a location. Uh, it's a market. Here we can sell our goods, at least the ones this market is known for. And it's uh, uh, here as well. So, like the Ichthesis Club. Um, when we leave Amsterdam, it stays behind. Uh, what do they want? They want uh, trapping type crafts and finery. Uh, the fine balance of forms and function. Uh, trapping type artifacts and relics. Uh, and uh, gems and jewelry. Uh, these. Okay, so if we see anything of particular value, uh, we know where to come to 
sell it on. Uh, but in the meantime, we're looking for a uh, bar. Let's, let's keep finding one. Actually, we're also looking for a wharf, as we'd like to uh, stock up on goods, as that's our lifeblood. Do we have uh, the Veiled Lady? Um, the Veiled Lady, an elegant creature of the Dutch underground subculture. She performs only in pr only on private parties now, uh, but the rumours of her veiled dances have spread throughout town. She does not meet many for free, but she's willing to meet with me. Um, she is a potential muse. This person has what it takes to inspire me. Uh, she's a delivery recipient, and we do have uh, something for her. Uh, talkable and local. Uh, learned in heart, but encased in winter. I'm guessing that is a gentleman over in Copenhagen. Uh, so, uh, if you fail, deliver to the wrong recipient, um, it, you, you lose the chance to deliver to the right recipient for some reason. You can't just approach them and say, hey, is this yours? And they say, no. Um, you lose the item. Through clubs, through drawn curtains, through cigarette smoke, I pass, then I finally spot her. Enchanté, she says, although her accent is not French. Never is mine. Let's keep looking for a bar. Uh, anything here we would like? We can hold on to that for a brief moment. Uh, n nothing from that. That uh, If we accumulated enough dread, it would snag um, three uh, an experience of dread. And create actual dread. Uh, we found the wolf. And... Uh, we will be finishing our talk with the lady. A demand wrapped in honey. Uh, so, through clubs, blah, 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 enchanté. A letter from Miss Morland. She opens it and scans the words. Her eyes flick back up to my face once. Yes, I think this has been quite helpful. Uh, while you are here, I need something back that I have lost. A trinket from a former life has been pilfered by some sewer rats. You seem like a person of action. Retrieve it for me, please. So, yeah, Miss Morland... Uh, told us to deliver a letter to this lady, and the letter pretty much, I'm assuming, just said, Hey, here's a delivery guy. Like, make use of him. <laughs> uh, I found the bars. Yep, found. Het anchor. Uh, if that's how it's pronounced. And I believe there's nothing else to be gained from our half heart adventures around Amsterdam. Uh, oh, we just gained a rumour randomly. A bit late now, but that would have been nice. Uh, I could have read that. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> yep, odd, uh, odd corners, I'm, from my experience, tends to be when you've tapped out searching the place of your half-heart. Um, you just keep drawing odd corners. Uh, I will explore with my lack heart just to, just for complete sake. Um, maybe we can find uh, merchants, uh, tune of merchants, or tune of the market, as that has some edge to it. Um, while you are here, I need something back that I have lost. A trinket from a former life has been pilfered by some sewer rats. You seem like a person of action. Retrieve it for me, please. I didn't read that already, but um, she has given us uh, Amsterdam sewers, a subterranean hive of tunnel sewers and waterways beneath Amsterdam. It's also a destination, it's a port, and it's an adventure. What's an adventure? Sounds like an adventure. Um, we're going to want to be prepared before we go into that. Um, and yeah, I've already looked at this. Uh, potential muse. Interesting. Um, 
inspiration. Uh, so we have our motif, which, um, as I've said before, judging by the symbols on it, uh, it looks like you can upgrade it. Um, one of the slots of inspiration, you see uh, Natural World, which is the moon slash weather uh, that we've already used um, and can no longer use again. Um, one of these is a muse. This once embodies this once embodies a certain kind of music. It ripples from their world, uh, their words, their skin, their being. Um, can't put that there yet because a potential muse is not uh, an a muse, if you if you will. Um, something I figured uh, is we need to do her little quest that she sends us on into the sewers before she's willing to I don't know, pose as a muse for us. We'll leave this up here um, now. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's not that's not for them. Uh, what are we doing? We are holding on to that so it doesn't expire. Tune to the docks. Uh, that is. Uh, yes, usable. Um, it has some heart and grail. So let's get the heart. And we can actually keep hold of this, but first I will throw this in there. We would still point like the edge uh, mu uh, motif. Uh, tune of the bars, uh, heart and moth. Not exactly useful for us as we are currently getting a uh, heart. Uh, cool. Let's do that. Do we want to talk to anyone in particular? Ah, uh, here we go, the tune of the market. Um, so that come, brings with it the edge motif. Um, so we will have heart, we will have edge. Uh, this would give us forge, but there's like... I think there's one weather, I recall, that gives uh, forge. Um, so if we get it, we get it. If we don't, oh well, it's not too important. Uh, the forge uh, motif or forge influence um, motifs they use primarily for influence and also for uh, when we're at sea um, sometimes we can just sing you know to, to pass events uh, with the veiled lady is there anything in particular we can talk about with her um, hmm Did we talk about that? No, she doesn't care about that. Uh, nope. I don't think that belongs to her, so I won't. Nothing. Not even an aching motif? No. Uh, temptation. Not a very non talkative person. And I'm pretty sure she wouldn't care about bars or the wolf. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I think we should just uh, stock up on some cargo first and foremost. Um, what do we have here. Yep. See my soul. Yep. We lost the industry that I'm okay with. Uh, sorry, tune of the industry. Uh, da, 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 da. We have some of this. Our heart will soon be resolved, and then we can resolve the edge. 
It would be nice. Um, with the we got a, this here cowardly individual. Um, with one uh, who has a reputation like this on my ship, I am unlikely to attract a more adventurous sort of sailor. Uh, we might consider getting rid of him um, just to make room for more adventurous people. Uh, but that will be after we have resolved our edge motif. Uh, the world is a song that sings eternal with rhythm, with rhythms expressed in rain and wind and thundering heartbeats. I shall touch them briefly, briefly in this composition, and betray a fragment of their intensity, comma. Um, a pearl of last laughter, a pulse of energy, a bubbling charm. Gather this influence around you, or gathering this influence around you can protect you from the ravagings of heartache. Uh, when we're having that mental breakdown, forcing us to go to sea, um, having a bunch of joyous vibrations uh, would protect us from that. Um, so, our plan here, since the Veiled Lady is not of interest and we don't have anything to sell to uh, verm Vermate, uh, uh, the rumours are just going to expire. I think we can try and uh, gather a package or two and uh, maybe find a more adventurous crew uh, and then find a uh, passenger or two. Yes. Uh, cargo and last bit of cargo. Uh, we should be doing that, yep. The vibrations will be keeping us... Oh, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, a shout encounter with a raconteur. Uh, I encounter another who knows the stories and whistles the tunes of the raconteurs. We speak guardedly of the deeper mystery. Some of the world's veils... Some of the world's veil is lifted for me and I glimpse at the secret light beneath. That is a rare event, and quite a nice one, honestly, as uh, that would allow us to make use of some of this. Uh, coughing and spluttering, and yeah. If, you, if you've seen my, mouth, my uh, mouse going off to the right of the screen and then silence for a bit, that is just me. Sparing you the joyful sounds of me uh, coughing and dying slowly. When I'm doing that, not particularly. Um, mm, mm. Uh, I say we. Take this bit of cargo and then allow this to resolve and do this for the fun of it. Um, cool, so we're stocked up, we're stocked up on cargo. Um, I will be saying farewell to our cowardly individual here as you know, um, sometimes they're good for sea events, but I feel that in general having at least three should be fine. Uh, the Tune of the Underworld, uh, Edge and uh, Moth. Hushed conversation, careful footsteps, a dull thud comes from an alley as a shingle slides from the roof. Um, alright. Another one of these tunes. Uh, what other ones haven't we seen? Different, different, uh, different tunes are found more common in different cities, I believe. I've only ever found, uh, uh, the tune of the industry in London, and there is a funeral dirge uh, over in Copenhagen. I've encountered London, Amsterdam, and Copenhagen, and Amsterdam sewers. Uh, nowhere else yet. It's cool. So uh, we have our cargo stocked up. Uh, we are saying goodbye to uh, one individual crew member. 
Um, and yep, they 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 take the pay and be on their way. Sorry, sorry, old chum. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to start singing. Mm, yeah, we can. Let, let's sing of uh, a subtle motif. Uh, so, a vengeful motif. A man can only know himself when opposed, um, and on some days one can feel uh, there. Fucking. And on some days one can feel there is no truer opposition than to mankind than nature. Again, than not then. Uh, I will write an anthem that will inspire you to take up arms against impossible odds. Um, yes. Then comparative, then is this, then that, then the other, like a sequence of events. At least as far as I'm aware. Um, a lingering thrill. If a challenge is not accepted, your dominion is. Uh, having gathered this influence around you will aid you, uh, attracting an adventurous crew. I do you like that? If a challenge, if a challenge is not accepted, your dominion domination is. Um, and eventual motif, you uh, usually whistled through gritted teeth, accompanied only by cracking knuckles. And there's the weather again. Cool. So surprise, uh, we got rid of our cowardly fellow uh, because these lingering thrills help us attract adventurous crew. Let's try and get some of those. Um, to do that, let's head to the bar with if I can double click properly. Um, with my half heart, attract them with tall tales, assess them with my insight, challenge them with my wit, and hope that they are something useful. Um, we are producing some uh, knock influence to go up here. Uh, would be nice if we had some moth, but we only get one at a time from our first tier uh, motifs, so it seems a bit. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we can like spam wild motif and then outpace notoriety or what, what have you with that. Uh, if I wear the local news I have scavenged in bars against the snippets I have obtained from my contacts, I may be able to make new connections, find new opportunities, and discover truly extraordinary places. Um, Yep, uh, so this is how we create new locations. Uh, we might get Copenhagen out of this, or we might get somewhere random. Last time it was Copenhagen. Um, yeah, the glamour woven. When a song is sun right, the world does not stay unchanged. Uh, the air has been infused with power and it clings on me like a perfume. We got lucky here, we didn't roll notoriety. Um, so, yes. The death counter has not yet begun, and just in time too. So we're going to wait for a season of suspicion to pass before we, uh, what's the word, uh, before we start seeing more motifs. And yeah, our tunes disappear. But our motifs continue. Uh, mate. Okay. Uh, attract them with tall tales, assess them with my insides, challenge them with my wit. Okay. Sometimes that'll say if it's a, no, if you're going to recruit a basic crew member, it'll say this one is good for nothing, blah, 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 blah. Um, we can talk to this fella and throw some funds in to recruit them. Uh, they cost three, three whole money. Effectively all the money we earn from cargo hauling, um, because we can only move three cargo. Each cargo produces a fund after you change location. Uh, caveat. If you go into a sewers, you can't sell your goods. It's an adventure. Um, yeah, uh, let's uh, see who else we can find. We do have technically three open spaces. Uh, and maybe we can fill up with a second while we have some lingering thrill. A 
bold, brutish mate. Um, I'm good on deck. Uh, another sail for my ship, another soul for my cause, another life as my burden. Uh, and he has quite a life. Uh, five hard engines. Uh, quite useful. Pull a thread. If I weigh the local news, I have scavenged about that. I, yep, already got that. Uh, salvage mission. Um, a shipwreck in some ill-fortuned waters have left sailors abuzz with stories of its cargo. If we can salvage something from the Hispaniola, Hispaniol it might be ver uh, very worth our while. It's a destination. It's an adventure. It's a fleeting opportunity. This adventure cannot be returned to once I leave. We want to go there prepared. And it's a port. Uh, so it's another adventure similar to... Uh, the Amsterdam sewers, though while Amsterdam sewers can be revisited, uh, a salvage mission can only be visited once. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, how do I describe this? I went on a salvaging mission in the previous run, and I drowned. Uh, it, I believe this is its not, not unique. There should be multiple shipwrecks for some reason, they're all called the Hispaniola, or the first one you encounter is called that. Um, I assume just knowledge of how text in this game works. It's probably they're all called Hispaniola uh, because of uh, wild cards in uh, the middle of text don't always work. Um, but yeah, uh, I tried plundering this last time and uh, ran out of air effectively <laughs> and drowned um, fleeting opportunity I I mean I got to the place which was an adventure all on its own adventure they're similar to vaults in the base game but um, actually they're very different um, the only similarity is uh, they are things to be plundered and riches to be gained from them uh, you will encounter difficulties along the way uh, I honestly quite like how um, how this game handles uh, adventures um, they're, they're very interactive engaging, they're not just uh, um, well they, yeah we will discover that as uh, the Amsterdam sewers is kind of a sort of introduction slash tutorial not a tutorial because it doesn't teach you anything you, you have to learn it yourself um, as is the nature of this game uh, it's a very good um, introduction to what an adventure is and it's repeatable in case you fuck it up uh, which I sort of did last time I didn't go in with the right number of crew so there were just challenges I couldn't surpass um, what the hell am I doing <laughs> uh, so we have uh, resolved that uh, rumor and piece of information that rumor is just going to expire it's fine as you saw we know how to get more rumors we just deliver crew uh, deliver passengers safely to another place uh, we are attempting to recruit another interesting person um, and I think other than that once this has passed we will start going crazy with our motives um what do we care about? We got a ring of in a ring of insight. Let's see if we can uh, get lucky drawing one of those again. Uh, oh yeah, there. This one isn't really specialised in anything, but is willing to work for a small price. Basic crew member. Uh, we don't want one of those, honestly. Um, as far as I feel, like as long as you got at least three, you're probably fine. Because I haven't seen. A use for more than three people in one uh, sort of thing uh, uh, event. You can only really throw three people into an event. You technically can throw four, but generally, if you're throwing in someone with one, 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 you should probably find a better way of doing it. Wow, that's been half an hour already. Um, well. Yeah, uh, 
I don't feel like we've really accomplished anything. It's sort of just been me rambling. Uh, what do we want to do? What are we doing? Um, yes, uh, let's restock this while we remember. Uh, so we are trying to get some more adventurous crew members. Uh, we're going to start going crazy with the motifs. Um, uh, basically, we want some insight to find uh, people to get a package from, as we would like to collect more of these packages, um, as we're a very good delivery boy. Um, or delivery boy, or girl, eh, Moby. Moby sounds like a guy's name, or whatever. We can be anyone. Um, yeah, so we have two books, might as well use them while we're here, uh, which we'll probably just be getting one of one situation out of. Um, and then we want to probably pick up another passenger or two, depending on if we find a decent crew member. Um, yeah. Spend this lingering thrill uh, finding interesting crew members, honestly, while Hearth is nice. Um, I don't think we would need a second heart person, so if we did roll a, a mate two times more, we wouldn't pick them up. Um, but yeah, that, that'll be for next episode, and hopefully I will spend more of next episode unpaused. Uh, apologies if that seemed a bit particularly boring, but now uh, a bit more explaining has been done, um, and we will move probably move back to London. Um, hope you're enjoying the gameplay, hope you're enjoying the mod, um, hope you're understanding a bit more about the mod, and um, hopefully me spoiling everything isn't uh, unfun. Hope hope it's just, you know, if you want, if you want to enjoy this, uh, this mod at your own pace, then by all means, um, discover, uh, download the mod, explore it, and uh, discover it. Uh, it's quite fun. But you're three episodes into this now, so you've probably... Uh, I've probably spoiled a shit ton of everything already. Anyway, uh, until next time, I've been Roanuk, this has been Kilter Simulator, the Mariner mod, and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.